by the processor or it's not being fed through the cache and all the registers been uh, swapped out into RAM for the time being because it's in the X category I don't know but the thing is if that's the case then there, there should be an additional X like if you have an X would be to close it completely get it out of the RAM get it out of the processor completely now if there's if this is to minimize it to the point of just putting in the RAM and swapping out the register uh, variables and setting them to one side for the time being by doing this X then there should be another icon up here and it be explained somehow what it actually does now this minimize might be that it's actually running in the background this obviously is the resizing of the window but and this doesn't even include the category that's so annoying I have to keep coming back up here to do something if it's of the menu which is really annoying to me uh, which is why probably most people probably hit the full full size window but then then you can see the menu as if it was part of the window itself at the top of the window so it it should still even with how people use it it should actually get carried with the window even though it's in a smaller window there it should still function within that application without having to jump between the window and say okay that's the application I want to use am I in that application menu system I have to double check that and it's a lot of back and forth of eye movements to figure out where you're at and it's a big pain in the butt okay and now I think I'm gonna get out of this <clears throat> uh, no let me quit so far this is the other thing in order to get out of I actually have to do actually have to access that menu <coughs> to get out of Safari to where this dot is not underneath the icon here as far as it being loaded um, so and this should actually have some kind of menu like this just like this if you hold the button down it should pop up whatever the menu is and it needs to be there right and you might have the options it might okay this says remove from dock but it should have other items for this holding down the uh, or in the windows viewpoint hold down the left click for a moment or two to get that menu and also there is nothing in the background uh, that's one of the things that if you teach somebody that's brand new to operating systems they say okay well try left clicking to find the application see you left click on this and you go to the applications list for the entire thing and voila you have an entire menu there um, of everything that's on the computer then the newbies of the computer system can actually get around the system a lot easier which is explains why they have such a small percentage of the market because it's about the newbies going in and being able to uh, get in and around the operating system and it's not very effective it's not very effective to do that where if you do a right click in other places but in this case it would just be you know click on it hold down the mouse key and it should pull up that short menu of which you can do whatever operations you want to do with it um, like this one here see this one doesn't do it either you can click on it and move it but it won't work um, I like this little Apple icon when you compare it to these icons down here if they just made it a bigger icon right and put it down here on the dock somewhere now I was thinking you know if you put the finder versus having the finder pull up the applications but this is sort of your you know exploring your desktop type of thing to see how things work on that which is okay I'm not saying it's uh, I'm not saying that this particular system is wonderful 
as far as this, but it's okay. I mean, I can look at it and be able to get around. But I would really like to see this be a bigger emblem and put down here on the dock somewhere on the left. Probably, um, you could put it on the right, I suppose. But, you know, probably close to where the finder would be, I would think. And this menu here should actually be in the application window. This up here, you know, it's okay, I guess. Um, I mean, this looks just fine as far as, you know, status. There's always, in the different operating systems, they have different status things. And then you can click on it and be able to tell what the heck it is, you know. Or the search, you can figure out what that is. And, you know, it's just go up there and click on whatever it is to figure out the different icons or what they mean or you know that it's there or not um, you can do all that which is all fine and dandy but um, but yeah this this menu this whole actually this entire left side is funky enough that this apple should probably be in the dock or put the dock up here and put this menu, these menus, inside the applications. <coughs> See, now, if you put this menu inside the applications like I was talking about, and this apple, this apple's kind of cool. I, I mean, I like the emblem, and maybe not black and white anymore, but because all, all these other uh, icons are all full color, but if you took this entire dock, and kind of framed it up here as part of the dock. And you know, like the, the newer OS's where you can roll your mouse over the icon and have them enlarge or something. Would be kind of cool. You roll it over and it'll enlarge on the dock on the the dock that would be put into the menu at the top, while this menu would be put into the applications would make far more sense. Um, I have no problem with it being at the top or the bottom or the sides or something, but the thing is, we're still back to, if you are trying to teach somebody brand new, you say, okay, left click here, go to the applications, right? And they have access to all the programs here. Otherwise, you got to go one click, two click, and then you got to figure out where it is. Now, here's another irritation. There's no, because we're dealing with a touchpad, there is no scroll bar on the side to try and get through um, to be able to see and be able to you know grab pull twist click on above or below it and the only way being a neophyte myself versus the apple trying to get microsoft market share um, is kind of a pain because i mean it's like you can't click on here or hold down the mouse and then move it up or down because that just highlights obviously um, I mean there's other probably other methods but it's the thing is it's not obvious to a brand new user versus being able to say look you can have the least amount of explanation to do or get around an operating system right so you say okay at one point this was the menu system up here, and you had icons all over the place. I think it was in the Mac Classic, if I recall. I don't even remember if it has all these status symbols on the right or not. I really don't remember. Um, I only probably used it, the Mac Classic for probably two or three days at one point. <coughs> not very much, and I, it wasn't really uh, great, although it did... It was definitely a step up in having nice artwork for the icons compared to Windows 3.0, especially god awful artwork, and definitely a step above doing the text interfaces, which is still there. And we'll probably talk about text interfaces and shells and Telnet a bit here in a different episode. But here it is really. <clears throat> really annoying to have this menu is separate and the Apple the Apple looks like is actually for the entire Operating system and it would be a good, you know, left click menu button if you will or um, 
you don't actually have to hold it down, but um, I, I don't have a problem with that Apple or even Apple symbol. I don't really care. It's really about the interface itself is really annoying to have this menu not be part of the window that's drawn up here. And I know it's part of the programming of the uh, object that you are programming that you just pass these this struct variable to this menu versus the window drawing menu there's no real difference as far as programming patterns and it's a lot easier rather than checking back and forth and I know this is a very classic uh, classic Mac style menu up here and people do like to keep things uh, you know the historically patterns of what they like or whatever but the reality is the number of eye movements you have to do back and forth to double check everything to make sure you get the right application and make sure you get the right menu up there it's just it takes too much time just like clicking on the menu key or the icon key to find out the menu you only need to click on it once slide it through and click on the app on the uh, you know item that you want to open whatever it might be obviously I'm not connected to the cloud at the moment so um, and this this is no critique on the cloud there's no critique on that but this particular menu system has been around for a long time horribly horribly annoying anyway and I think that will be it for this particular episode and this is Michael Ray of Silicon Valley